What is going on my YouTube gamers out there? Hopefully everybody is doing fantastic, especially if you are a big Silent Hill fan. I still remember watching the original gameplay demo roughly about eight years ago, and I can clearly remember my butt cheeks being clenched, my nipples being hard, all of the hairs on my body standing up. I was absolutely ecstatic to get this video game in hand as soon as I possibly could. And mind you, I am not the big hulking man that I am now. Back then I was a tiny little milk mustache i had my emo haircut going i had acne covering my entire face and i had pimples the size of mount everest i spent most of my time reading comic books playing video games and hiding random erections as my teens were slowly passing me by i was a naive little child i had never changed a diaper i had never known what it felt like to get underneath your fingernails i still didn't know the feeling of getting puked on or peed on i know those aren't weird fetishes that is just what happens when you become a parent regardless they were very good times and i have very fond memories of speculating about how the finished product would play the demo obviously looked absolutely spectacular it was very similar to what a real life nightmare would feel like walking through a dark house seeing blood splattered all across just never really being able to stabilize yourself like you feel as if you were moving in slow motion or you never really got anywhere you were just kind of walking in circles i think we've all had nightmares similar to that and i think that's why it resonated with so many different people I remember the first time that I actually heard that the game had been cancelled. I actually had to deactivate my tear glands. I had to bite down on my tongue. This is coming from somebody who shed no tears at the beginning of Up, watching Ellie basically live her entire life and die within like a 10 minute montage. This is coming from the man that had a stone face at the end of the notebook. So you can appreciate the insane amount of emotions that were running through my body at the time and I'm sure many other gamers were going through the exact same thing this was an absolutely perfect combination you had kojima who is an absolutely masterful creator and then you also had guillermo del toro who is one of the more creative misunderstood minds in hollywood he gave us absolutely breathtaking universes like he did with pen's labyrinth for example his monsters are very gory but they're also very symbolical which i think would have worked perfectly with the silent hill game which has always had kind of like an underlying mysterious meaning almost at every turn he also knows how to do action incredibly well as we saw brief examples of that with the with the pacific rim franchise even though it wasn't necessarily a perfect film he understands what people want to see when it comes down to big blockbuster action movies we were also going to see this video game feature norman reedus who we've already seen be a big part of a video game project in the past and he's a very good actor and he was coming off of the really big high from the walking dead where he was obviously daryl he was more or less like the hawkeye of the walking dead universe except he was more useful than him regardless i've wasted enough oxygen and enough saliva just spitting nonsense at you guys this video basically had the main objective to let you guys know that there is something in the works for silent hill kojima did announced that there would be some sort of big live stream event starting on october the 19th at 2 p.m pacific standard time there is also a website up however this doesn't really contain anything at the moment this is just all to hype up the anticipation for what a lot of fans have been waiting around for over eight years now really getting an opportunity at least hope that there is something in the works we don't really know there's been a lot of rampant speculation that this could just be be a reboot or this could be a remake of some kind that this doesn't have to do anything with the original project that we saw eight years ago but we just don't know only time will tell but let me know in the comments section what you guys think will you guys tune into the live stream do you guys think that this will basically be what we got or what we were going to get eight nine years ago just with updated graphics maybe ported on to the newest generation of consoles let me know in the comments section i'm very interested to see what you guys have to say how excited are you guys i await your responses let me know in the comments section and as always guys stay safe out there i will see you guys in the next one thank you guys for tuning in